हेलो एवरीबडी माई नेम इज नरेंद्र कुमार एंड वी आर फ्रॉम नरेंद्र अकेडमी एंड टिल नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हीट एंड टेम्परेचर अवर चैप्टर इज हीट फिजिक्स टेंथ क्लास एस एस सी ए पी टिल नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड हीट एंड टेम्परेचर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट दैट इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम सब्सटेंस टू सब्सटेंस यू गिव अ लॉट ऑफ हीट टू वन सब्सटेंस इज टेम्परेचर राइजेस दिस मच ओनली you give lot little heat it temperatureizes more so it that specific heat is uh, differs from substance to substance and we got that lovely equation q is equal directly proportional to m q is directly proportional to delta t so q is equal to s m delta t or s is equal to q by m delta t that much we have understood see how well we were able to summarize because we understood the concept perfectly now we come to one more question okay we take a body okay but what if we mix it you understand what if we mix it so this is called uh, this activity is called the method of mixtures uh, uh situation one there are three situations in this activity three parts to the okay so three sub activities situation one take two beakers of the same size and pour 200 ml of water in each of them simple now heat the water in both beakers till they attain the same temperature you got the concept here so what is the concept here let's go slow two beakers uh, same size same size and uh, pour 200 ml of water in each of them so 200 ml of water in both in both and Uh, heat the water in both beakers uh, till they attain the same temperature so same temperature heat same temperature heat till the heat till you get same temperature if you pour this water from these two beakers into a larger beaker mixture what temperature could you expect the mixture to be so what temperature you put it took it to the same temperature if you take the put both these the water from both the beakers into a third beaker together if you pour this water from these two beakers into a larger beaker what temperature could you expect the mixture to be measure the temperature of the mixture what do you observe what could be the reason for the fact that you observe so there is a questions is asking how beautifully is taking it we'll also go in the same way now we come to situation 2 now heat the water in one beaker heat the water in one beaker to 90 degree centigrade so t uh, let's say t 2 uh, is 90 degree centigrade or t final t final is 90 degree centigrade this is a second situation and the other to 60 degree so we can say um, t final 1 right and t final 2 we are taking to 60 degree centigrade everything else remains the same mix the water again mix it <laughs> and what will the temperature of the mixture be measure temperature of the mixture what did you notice can you give reasons for the change in temperature change in temperature now we come to situation 3 here what he says is take 100 ml of water only at 90 degree at 90 degree and 200 ml 200 ml of water at 60 degree at 60 degree 90 100 ml of water at 90 degree centigrade 200 ml of water at 60 degree centigrade and mix the two what is the temperature of the mixture and what difference do you notice in the change in temperature now let us find out now after these situations he raised wonderful questions what will the final temperature be when we mix in this situation this situation and this situation this situation same temperature you you increased it you heated it till the same temperature came for a same oh, volume here the temperature you heated it till this came to 90 and this came to 60 and then you mixed it here you took 100 ml at 90 200 ml at 60 then you mixed it S simple enough let the initial temperature of the samples of masses be m1 and m2 so it is uh, sorry m uh, initial temperature of the samples of masses m1 and m2 b initial temperature is b t1 and t2 t1 and t2 
uh, and let this be the t1 be higher so let let t1 be greater than t2 let t be the final temperature now this is the data we have this is the data we have the temperature of the mixture is lower than the temperature of the hotter sample but higher than the temperature of the colder sample so this is hotter t1 is hotter the final this will be less than this and this will be more than this because this is hotter so the hotter will become less the colder will become more right so this is colder it will become it will come to t this is hotter it will come to t so t will be greater than the colder t will be lesser than the hotter okay that's clear so t will be between t1 and t2 the temperature of the mixture is lower than the temperature of the hotter sample but higher than the temperature of the colder sample this means that the hot sample has lost heat and the cold sample has gained heat now see the point here the amount of heat lost by the hotter sample q1 q1 amount of heat lost q1 is amount of heat lost is equal to how much we know it is m1 s t1 minus t m1 s into t1 minus t t1 minus t and amount of because t1 is greater amount of q2 gained is equal to obviously m2 s t minus t2 m2 s t is uh, higher to t minus t2 this is true and these two will be equal by amount of heat lost is equal to amount of heat gained so since heat lost by the hotter sample is equal to the heat gained by the cooler sample assuming no loss of heat q1 is equal to q2 q1 is equal to q2 now i'll rub here q1 is equal to q2 if q1 is equal to q2 m1 s t1 minus t m1 s t1 minus t is equal to m2 s t minus t2 m2 s t minus t2 which can be simplified so what do we get we want the final temperature so this when you simplify it, it it will come to m1 t1 plus m2 t2 by m1 plus m2 m1 t1 plus m2 t2 divided by m1 you can just it's simple algebra you will notice that the temperatures of mixtures in situation 2 and situation 3 are not equal the temperatures of mixtures in situation 2 and situation 3 are not equal can you guess the reason for this you can easily think about it and can you find can we find temperature of the mixture using a thermometer you can also find that so this is the concept of method of mixtures what happens when we mix two substances and our next topic is experimentally how do you determine the specific heat of a solid we will see in the next lesson my name is narendra kumar and we are from narendra academy thank you so much